Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Maddie. I run EdTech Classroom, the blog, podcast, and of course, YouTube channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 20. Now, if you aren't familiar with Vlogmas, it's something that a bunch of YouTubers do where we post a new video every single day in December up until Christmas. So like I said, today is Vlogmas Day 20, which means that this is the 20th day in a row that I am making a YouTube video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on sharing some ideas for how to use Google Sheets as a calendar. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some helpful tips. I'm going to share a Google Calendar template with you guys, and I hope that you find this to be helpful in staying organized. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I dive into the tutorial portion of today's video, I do want to let you guys know that Google Sheets has plenty of templates on the actual web page for you to choose from. So these are some really amazing templates that Google Sheets has put together for users. There's specifically a category called education that I think that teachers and educators will find to be really helpful. So there's things like assignment trackers, grade books. So all of these are going to be really useful if you are an educator looking to use Google Sheets. Today, I am going to be showing a template that I adapted from the calendar template that Google Sheets has created for you. So if you would like, you can grab the, the calendar that I'm using in today's video by clicking the link in the video description down below. I've customized it a little bit. I've changed the colors. I've added a retro theme. But if you would prefer to take the template directly from Google Sheets, you can visit sheets.google.com, click on template gallery, and grab your own copy of the calendar template that Google Sheets has created. So now let's dive into the tutorial portion of today's video. As I mentioned earlier, Google Sheets has some templates in that template gallery for you, specifically a calendar version. Now I took the calendar template that Google Sheets has created and I customized the theme to make this retro. So I just want to give some credit to Google Sheets and that they did create this initial template for me. And then I played around with adjusting colors and fonts and different things like that. So right now we are looking at this 2022 calendar and you'll see that on the very first tab here, we have a year at a glance. So you'll see we have January through December with dates on here for this 2022 calendar. So I like to just have this as the very first tab in Google Sheets to kind of help you have this, like I said, an overall year at a glance view. So you can look forward to certain dates. So for example, when I was planning my YouTube content calendar for the next few months, I was checking to see which days my YouTube videos would fall on, what days, since I normally post on days of the week, it was really helpful for me to look at the month of February, for example, and say, okay, I'm gonna be posting a video on the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th, for example. So I personally find it helpful to have this at a glance annual view. Now at the bottom of the screen, you will now see that we have January through December tabs for the year 2022. So if we first click on this January 2022 tab, you'll see that now we actually have the month breakdown of January. So you'll see that this is essentially a grid. The cells have been changed to this dark color purple and the text has been changed to white. So like I said, this is a template that I customized. I will show you how to change the colors in just a little bit here. But first I wanna show you how I would actually recommend using this template. So looking at the month of January, the way that I would actually interact with something like this is I would use this calendar to keep track of those major events that are happening in January. Now, of course, you're welcome to be more specific. If you wanna embed things like links to lesson plans in here, you're welcome to do that. I personally like to use this calendar for more just at a glance type view. You know, if we have a certain unit that's starting one day, that's something that you might want to include on this page here. So looking at January, the month of January, the first major event that I know is happening for many educators is that on Monday, January 3rd, many schools are back in session after the winter break. So if I click here on this cell, I can actually double click and type um, back to school. This back to school has been added to the January 3rd cell. So now what you can continue to do is you can fill in major events that are happening in the month of January. So let's say that you know that you have a doctor's appointment on the 20th. You might want to type in doctor's appointment, secure a sub, 
And you'll notice that when I typed this in, it actually, the text went all the way across through the 21st and the 22nd. That's really helpful if you're writing something like, you know, taking vacation days over the course of several days. But personally for this one, I only want this doctor's appointment to fall under this date, January 20th. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually change the text wrapping. So I've selected this cell here in Google Sheets and I'm going to go up to the top of my screen and you'll see that we have the horizontal align is set here. Then we have the vertical align as well. The thing we want to be focusing on is next to vertical align, which says text wrapping. So if I click on text wrapping here, now I'm going to want to choose this option where the text will actually wrap around so that it stays within this cell. So let me show you what this looks like when I click wrap. So now you'll see that under January 20th, it says doctor's appointment, secure a sub, and it's only underneath this January 20th date. So that's how you would immediately edit a Google Sheets file like this to include some of those major dates that are happening. Next, I wanna show you how you can embed links. So we're gonna take a look at this February tab for embedding links. I think that that would be something that's helpful. So I'm just gonna show you, for example, let's say that you want to read EdTech Classroom's blog post on Wednesday, February 2nd. What I would do is I would double click on the cell here and say new blog post from EdTech Classroom. Press enter again. I would want to change the text wrapping here. So I would go up here to wrap around. I would change the wrap. And now what I personally would want to do is I would want to hyperlink this text to the EdTech Classroom website. So the example that would be most helpful for educators is let's say that you have created a lesson plan in Google Docs. Maybe you're wanting to purchase something from Teachers Pay Teachers. Maybe you found a free lesson online. If you wanted to embed some sort of link, this is how you would do this. So I am gonna go ahead and just grab my website. I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm just gonna grab the URL and I'm gonna go back to Google Sheets and now I'm going to show you how to hyperlink this. So on the previous slide, I just grabbed that, or on the previous tab, I just grabbed that website link. I copied it in my clipboard, I added it to my clipboard and now I'm going to paste it into this section here. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna double click on the cell again and I'm gonna highlight the text. Now I'm gonna go up here to this link feature. I'm gonna click on insert link. I'm gonna paste the website, then I'll click apply, and you'll see that this has now been hyperlinked. Now it turns blue automatically, which lets me know that this is actually a clickable link. If for aesthetic reasons you wanna change the font color, you're welcome to do that. I'm gonna change it back to white, but some people really like that these links turn to be blue so that you actually know that they're clickable. To change the text color, I'm just gonna click here on the cell. I'm gonna go back up here to this text color feature. I'm gonna change the color, and now you'll see that I have this clickable option here. So if I click here on the cell, and I click on the EdTech Classroom website, it will immediately direct me to the website. So like I said, this is gonna be a really helpful feature if you are looking to stay organized with creating your lessons, if you find yourself using a lot of digital resources, you might want to incorporate linking into your Google Sheets calendar. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is how you would actually customize this Google Sheets template. So let's say you really love this one that I've created, but you want to play around with the colors. I'm now going to show you how to do that. So now let's take a look at this March tab here, and you'll see that for March, I have this blue color as the background. Let's say you want to change the background color. I am going to select all of the cells so that I can change all of the cells to a new color. So I'm going to go up here to this a uh, rectangle right here. I'm going to click on it and now all of the cells on this tab have been highlighted. The next thing I want to do is I want to go over here to this paint bucket tool and I want to change the color. So let's say I want to make March pink. Now you'll see that March has been changed to have a pink background. So again, the way that I did that is I highlighted all of the cells then I went up to that paint bucket tool. I changed the color and now March looks different than it did before. Now the last thing that you guys can do as well is let's say you want to change the font color. You can choose to highlight all of the cells like we did previously, or maybe instead you just want to change the color of Sunday through Saturday, that text there. The way that you would do that is you would just click on Sunday, you would move your mouse all the way over to where it says Saturday. I like to hold down shift on my keyboard, then I like to click on Saturday, and now I can change just the color of those cells there. So I can go up here to the font color, and maybe I'll wanna change it to be black. 
now you'll see that just the day of the week has now changed colors. So that would be how you would just change certain colors of text. If you wanted to change all of the text color, you would do just like I did with the background color. You would highlight all of the cells and then go up to that font color tool to change it. So that's a little bit about how you can do some basic customization. Let's take a look at actually fully customizing the theme. We're going to go up here to where it says format. Then we're going to go down to where it says theme right here up at the top. And now on the right hand side of our screen, you will see that there are different uh, themes to actually choose from. So we have standard, we have simple light, we have streamline, we have paradigm, shift, momentum, earthy, etc. So I have selected this streamline here. There's also other choices for you as well to choose from. So I clicked on streamline because I personally like that. But let's say you want to change this to be simple light. If you click on simple light, you'll see that it has changed the theme here. The font is a little bit different. The color obviously changed most notably. So that is how you would go back and forth between changing the themes. I'm just going to undo what I've done here because I like the customization that I've done. So I can just press command Z or control Z on your keyboard to undo the changes that I just made. So that's how you customize a Google Sheets calendar. Like I said at the beginning of today's video, if you are looking to grab a template, you are welcome to grab the template that's linked in the video description down below or you can go to sheets.google.com and grab the one that Google Sheets has created in that template gallery. In today's video, I showed you how to change colors. I showed you how to customize a Google Sheets calendar. I gave you some different ideas for how you might interact with this calendar. I talked about the annual view. I talked about linking things to those individual dates. We talked about text wrapping. And of course, as always, if you have any specific questions, please leave a comment and I would be more than happy to help answer your specific questions. Questions. So thank you so much for watching today's video with some ideas on how to use a Google Sheets calendar. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers and during Vlogmas I'm posting a new video every single day in December up until Christmas. So I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye friends.